Taco Bell. Taco Bell is freaking bomb. It's good as hell. Or should I say, it's good as bell. What isn't quite as good though is the nutrition. Taco Bell isn't supposed to be healthy. It's one of those places where you go out to at like one in the morning to eat your entire weight in tacos, nachos, and burritos. Although that is super fun, and I'm going to continue doing that occasionally. It's not so fun for your waistline or weight loss goals or fitness goals, especially if you're on a fitness journey. Luckily for you, I'm gonna show you how to make Taco Bell at home. You can make Taco Bell at home for less calories, less fat, and less carbs. And a lot of this stuff can be used as meal prep. Today, we are going to make a Taco Bell meal healthy. Er, again, these like fast food like dupes for healthy food are not always the most healthy meals that you can eat when you're trying to lose weight or if you're on a fitness journey and stuff like that. But these recipes are for you people who really are craving like that fast food fix, but you don't want to go to the fast food place. So you can bring fast food home. It's not fast food anymore, but it's good food, you know? So today I'm gonna show you how to make your own crunch wrap and nacho fries at home. And yes, we are gonna make nacho cheese. Let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need. Some ground turkey. You can use whatever protein you want. You can do steak, you can do ground beef. Um, chicken, but I'm using ground turkey because it's lean. Low carb tortillas. I'm using these ones from Walmart. Taco seasoning, and this one's the Taco Bell taco seasoning. And I had the lower sodium, reduced sodium taco seasoning in my hand, and it really wasn't even that big of a difference. And it's okay to not always pick the lowest carb, lowest sodium, lowest fat product to get your fix. So we are not doing low sodium taco seasoning. We're doing the Taco Bell taco seasoning because we're making Taco Bell. Protein chips or these. Use these if you want higher protein. Use these if you want lower calorie for your crunch and your crunch wrap. You can fry these up in a pan or in an air fryer and use that as your crunchy part of your crunch wrap. I'm going to use this for my crunchy part of my crunch wrap. But again, you can use this if you want. These are great. They're from Walmart, only 25 calories per tortilla, and you toast it up, and there's your tostada for your crunch wrap. Ooh! Oops. <laughs> Plain non-fat Greek yogurt. That is gonna be our sour cream. I know it sounds weird, but if you have not replaced sour cream with plain non-fat Greek yogurt yet, I highly recommend you do. You won't be able to tell the difference. Fiesta Ranch seasoning mix. Lettuce. Reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese. And hot sauce. I got the mild Taco Bell sauce from Walmart. Walmart needs to sponsor me. I almost just broke this bottle. Meow. Hi, Sushi. Do you want to say hi? Sushi wants to say hello. You say hello? Yes. You want to crunch up Supreme? Yeah. <laughs> First thing you're gonna wanna do to make your Crunchwrap Supreme is get a frying pan. I have this one. This is the only frying pan that I have. I really need to get more. Prime Day is coming up on Amazon. I'm gonna get some frying pans on Prime Day, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Pardon my messy-ish counter. Um, it's a mess. So you got your frying pan. You're gonna turn it to medium high heat. Whenever it says medium high, I do number five on my little dial. I'm gonna cook up a pound of ground turkey. This is two pounds because I got the bulk one from Sam's Club, but I'm just gonna make half of it. A whole pound of ground turkey is more than enough for just one meal for me. I'm just making the whole pound because I want some leftovers for meal prep. Taco meat is literally one of the best things for meal prep ever. It stays yummy for a really long time, even when you heat it up. While the ground turkey is cooking up, we are actually gonna get started on the nacho fries. I love french fries, and if you subscribe to me on Snapchat, Hope Schwing, make sure you subscribe, I post daily vlogs. You know that I'm making fries like very, very often. My personal trainer told me that potatoes make your butt big, and so I have been on a french fry kick. Hearing that potatoes can make your butt big was like music to my ears because I want a big butt and I love potatoes, so. These are the fries that I love to eat. These are the, the plain potato fries from Trader Joe's. They're super cheap. I'm just gonna pop these in the air fryer. Also to make your fries extra crispy in the air fryer, spray them with some avocado oil. Or I just pop them in the air fryer at 390. Normally it takes like 12 minutes for them to get crispy. I kind of like mine a little bit burnt. So we got the fries in the air fryer, turkey on the stove. We are gonna make our nacho cheese sauce to dip our french fries in. What you need in order to make your little nacho cheese, American cheese, and I, I have these, um, fat-free 
singles. Also, don't mind my scratches right here. I'm allergic to my cats and sometimes I flare up, sometimes I don't. This is one of those times where I am flaring up. Hot sauce. I can't believe it's not butter. And milk. I'm using almond milk. Skim milk would probably taste a lot better in this, just saying. I didn't want to buy a whole jug just for this. Okay, I'm going to take two ounces of American cheese. I don't need that much. I'm not eating a whole. I don't need to meal prep nacho cheese. <laughs> if I was meal prepping it, I'd make the whole thing, but we're having this. So we got two ounces of American cheese, two tablespoons of milk. We're going to make it in here. So we're going to take our American cheese. I have this little bowl. It's microwave safe. Two tablespoons of milk. I take a quarter tablespoon of, I can't believe it's not butter. I use the light version. And as much hot sauce as you want. Half a tablespoon. All right, we're gonna microwave this. Little thing I like to do when I'm making ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, anything, I like to use a whisk once it's almost done cooking and just like break it up into like the tiniest pieces I can possibly make. I hate big chunky ground meat. Also, I don't wanna hear in the comments, you're ruining your pan. I don't care. Once your ground turkey is browned, you're gonna add a third cup of water. I'm gonna add this whole thing. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna let your taco meat cook for like a few more minutes until like the sauce thickens up a tiny bit. While your taco meat is finishing up, you're gonna prep our tortilla. Okay, so with one tortilla, you're gonna cut it into quarters. This piece is gonna be the center of your crunch wrap, like the cap. And that's what you're gonna fold the other tortilla around. So you're just gonna pop these in the microwave until they get warmed up a bit like a quarter cup of taco meat. That's not enough. You want, we're doing like almost a half cup here. Some cheese. Yes, please. Hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Some lettuce. And I almost forgot to show you guys how to make spicy ranch. Like Taco Bell spicy ranch. You just take some plain Greek yogurt. This plain Greek yogurt, you can just plop it on here as if it was sour cream, but I want it to be like spicy ranch. Or Fiesta ranch seasoning packet. And just add however much you think you should. Add a little bit of water to it so it's not quite so thick. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to take your protein chips. And then you're going to place your little cap on. I'm gonna wrap this baby up. Okay, so watch my technique. Wait, this isn't that hard. Yes, it is. Okay, she's not pretty, but she works. I have my hand pressed down on it so it doesn't flip up. I got some, I can't believe it's not butter melting in the pan. Yeah! and drop it in the pan and you're gonna wanna cook each side like three to four minutes until it's like golden brown. While that's cooking up, we are gonna assemble our nacho fries. You're gonna add some paprika, chili powder. Preferably this would be garlic powder, but this is honey garlic seasoning. Close enough. Onion powder, a little bit of salt. Shake them up. Ooh. Ah, it's all done. We have a Crunchwrap Supreme and nacho fries at home with the nacho fries. Mmm, that was good. And now we have our Crunchwrap Supreme. This thing's hot. Woo, I should probably let it cool down first, but I don't want to. Oh, that is really hot. It's so hot, but it's like so good. I can't stop eating it or I can't wait to let it cool down. Oh! Oh, wow. Let's try both. That is damn good. Seriously, so, so easy to make. It's like a glorified taco. Honestly, if you took the tortilla and just threw some chips in it, and rolled it up, it would be like the same thing. Yeah, this is bomb, I love it. Well, I wanna finish eating my dinner because this is bomb and I don't wanna set it down. So this is my cue to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss any more videos. Um, I'm gonna go finish eating this and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.